hello happy sunday welcome back to my channel um my name is deanna this is visual aspect we're getting back into it when it comes to youtube um this video is going to be this like everyday makeup look that i have on right now um and i found a few drugstore products that i've been loving and i've been wearing it for my like everyday work gym look um and i wanted to share that with you guys so if you want to see how I got this look, keep on watching. And yeah, I really like it. Good morning, in case I haven't said it already. Um, I'm gonna show you an everyday makeup routine. Um, I've been doing this for the past couple of weeks and I really liked it. It is using a drugstore product that I found and I really liked. I got influenced by um, Catherine Lockhart. <clears throat> and yeah, I'm, I'm just excited to show you this because um, I wear this every day to work. I also um, like, especially like on the days that I'm going into work and then also um, going to core power yoga afterwards, I just don't feel like I'm like blowing through my higher end makeup products as fast so that always makes me feel good um but yeah let's uh i'm just gonna get ready for the day it is sunday and there's a few things i want to do today but um yeah i thought i would film this i'm getting back into it on youtube you guys um we'll see how this goes so i'm i'm gonna start by doing my eyebrows and just heads up it's kind of like a mix of uh drugstore and hiring products um I think majority I think it's like 60 40 to be honest but um I did buy this benefit eyebrow pen <clears throat> sorry I did buy this benefit eyebrow pencil um when I was going to San Diego I think but uh yeah I also wanted to do like a quick little update. I feel like I just had like two, you know when like life is just lifing and you're just there like, like trying to get out of neutral and you just are there. That's how I've been feeling for the past, I think a little over a month. Um, I'm gonna do my hair too. I feel like my hair just looks like a lot. Um, and so, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows and then we'll continue. Hold on. We're back. Um, so I did my eyebrows and then I'm gonna go in with my primer and this is the NARS primer. Just put a little bit on just so like it lasts through the day. I don't even remember what primer I was using before this. It was like Lyocell or something. I really want to try. Hold on. I really want to try. The e.l.f jelly primer or something like that. See how that does. Then I'm gonna wet my beauty blender. I really need to clean all my brushes and I can't wait to do this after. <clears throat> so I have been, sorry, I'm gonna do a, like a side conversation for a sec, but I have been cleaning my entire apartment all weekend and it's made me feel so calm and recentered. I've been feeling a little bit down with like congestion and just feeling really tired and run down. One thing you can do is just clean your entire space. Clean it, reorganize everything, put everything where it needs to go, find a place for it, and you will just feel so centered. Um, on my countertop, I've had this like little container that had my makeup brushes and q-tips and like stuff like that but it, it wasn't being used very well but I got this candle from Josie Pelicano she like 
she released some candles and this little like candle holder was so pretty and I'd just been waiting for the perfect use for it. And so I poured hot water to get like the last little bit out of the, um, the, the bit of wax, you know, because I wanted to reuse this. So I turned on the tea kettle, poured the hot water in, it all floated to the top, it cooled down and I was able to like easily take out the wax and clean it. And it's my new like makeup brush holder and it just sits so perfectly on my counter. I'm very happy about it. Um, anyway, so put on some primer um, and then I want to talk about the foundation that I, I got influenced to buy. Um, and it's the Alme Ageless Smart Shade Foundation. I was watching um, TikTok or Instagram. Catherine Lockhart is the um, creator who I got influenced to go buy this. So I went down to Rite Aid and I got it. Um, I totally guessed the shade because this one is, is 700 Spice. There's one shade darker and usually with drugstore um, <clears throat> matching foundation is like so hard. So I'm like, let me just do this one because I'm never really, I'm never the darkest shade, but sometimes it goes I'm so I'm usually like in between the the darkest and like the second to darkest shade all the time. But since this technology it like starts out white and then it blends in with your skin, I'm going to show you. Um it it just works so perfect. It's $10. I've been using this a bunch. Um it has skincare in it, hyaluronic acid, niacinamide and electrolytes, hypoallergenic, fragrance-free. I haven't, I don't think I've ever used Alme foundation at all, but um, I was so influenced. So as you can see, it comes out white and I just use like this much. And so this is what I do, it's like this. And then you can kind of see it changing. And so I just wipe it everywhere with my fingers. And then on my eyelids, in between my eyes, just get it all everywhere. And see how it like just blends in? Oh my god. It reminds me of like NARS, back when NARS had this velvet matte tint. Um, skin tint, like tinted moisturizer in seashells that was everything to me they phased it out like five or so years ago if they ever brought that back like that would be my my latest that, that would be my new skin tint but this will do especially since this is like ten dollars um i'm just gonna let that sit on my skin and then okay, i'm gonna rinse my hand i hate when i like use my hands so that i get makeup everywhere okay and then I'm gonna go in with my trusty NARS Creamy Concealer. This is in Amon, so this is actually like my shade and I'm just gonna like put it over some blemishes here. Just so I can blend in my eyebrows. And then I'm gonna go um, and then just so I can blend underneath my eyes. My favorite combo right now is also like my lightning. I need to get some more of this. So this is Givenchy tint, uh, Givenchy concealer. I'm not even gonna try and say that. In 32, and I just put literally one dot here and here. That's it. <coughs> I did get the Alme because Catherine um, suggested getting the Alme for the conceal the concealer as well the queer comp complexion concealer but i got it a little it's like too light it's just too light maybe it's too light to be like my um the concealer that i use to conceal so i'm gonna go a shade darker this one is the one shade up and so I'm just going to get the darkest shade and see if I can actually do a combo of this product so I don't have to use my NARS concealer every day. Because that's what it is. Like, that's the main gist of this whole video is 
I want to use product that makes me look great for every day at work, going to the gym, and it's $20 altogether. I think that concealer is like $8 and then the, the foundation is 10 or 11 or something like that. So, okay, beauty blender. I'm just gonna go in and just, I'm just blending in my entire face, making sure the foundation is good. But anyway, so yeah, I got off birth control. I think we're taking it all the way back to the beginning of this video. I recognize I get distracted. Um, but yeah, I got off birth control. That has been a ride in itself. Um, I was traveling for a little bit. My I had my brother and my mom came and visited me, which is so nice. Um, and then I just like it was kind of just like one thing after the next. All good stuff. But, um, and then, like, I think just, like, going into work, like, the commute kind of just wears on a person after a while because, um, I think I'm just, like, on such high alert all the time because commuting in the trains is so much different than if I, like, got in my car and was commuting into work. Um, you just have to be, like, as a woman, you just have to be alert. And so, like... I don't know, just if that makes sense. Like, so if I don't like have like a an evening to like kind of prep for the week, I think I get like a little bit tired. But um, <clears throat> this past Friday, I took a sick day because I, I literally was just coughing so much. I was so run down and I'm like, I just need to sleep. And so I did just that. And I feel so like rejuvenated. I just slept, I cleaned my entire apartment, I mopped, I just did everything. Um, and it felt really good. So um, I'm gonna go in with my, my powder from Givenchy. Um, and just do like a little bit underneath, just in my problem areas. I'm gonna let that sit as I go into the eyes. This is the thing I like to do. I pull everything out and set it down and then I just slowly put stuff away as I'm done with that product. I'm gonna go back in with eyebrow stuff in a sec. <clears throat> okay, moving on to eyes. I've had this Dior palette for like a year and a half and I just like this one color. It's this one here. Um, and this is Dior Backstage Palette in Rosewood Neutrals and it's matte wood. It's literally that one. Um, and then Pat McGrath, I like Nude Solaris as like a crease. And it's the from the Venusian Sunrise palette. If I wanted to keep it all succinct, I would just use the Glossier Monochrome's Essential Eyeshadow Trio and Teak. And I would just do like this in the crease and then this, oh wait. Yeah, this in the crease and this on the, is that how, what I've been doing? No, yeah, I just do this in the crease. I did not know that that come, comes out. Anyway. This in the crease. Why is this so hard? Uh, and then the gold just over the lid. So, but I'm not doing that today. Good grief. Wow. It's just drama. Today I'm just gonna use Pat McGrath. Um, I really want to go to Prospect Park. I've never been. Maybe I'll take Buckley. Say that too loud. He's going to hear me be like, we're going to the park. It's crazy. Just a little zhuzh in the lid. Maybe I will take him. It's only 9.12. Maybe I can do like an early moment. Uh... 
I've just never been to that park before. Just a little. Cute. Oh, and then in the lid, just gonna sweep this brown over. Okay, so that's that. Just a little, little something, you know? I'm just gonna fix my eyebrows a little bit. There's that. Um, and then, yeah, so I just fixed my eyebrows a little bit. Um, yeah, then let's like blend this out. I don't really do bronzer for like an everyday look. I just, I don't know. I just feel like it's just like too much. I just do like a cute little base and some eyeshadow and then like I'm good and then I do go in with like my, <laughs> my little baby NARS orgasm blush that I just like put on my cheekbones and on the top of my eyebrow just like that just a little oh, kind of like gets things heightened or whatever um there's that and then before i put on mascara i go in with my i finally got my hands on this um my setting spray But I did, there's another thing. I'm giving you like a little tidbits, but I also um, went on a date for the first time, like ever in New York. It was so good. And I'm gonna expand on it more in a different video. <laughs> um, and oh, sorry, I'm going in with my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. Um, and then I went on another date this week with someone else that I met but yeah it's just been very much like owning my energy and the work that I've done to create this new space and who do I want to be in this space and if I know that this isn't gonna work from the jump then like I'm literally a big believer in just like asking all the questions up front. Because then you just know if this is what's gonna like happen or not. It's like, oh, where's the mystery? I'm like, mystery turns into situationship. So, and then when you find out that like, okay, like this guy that I was dating just to give you just like, I 
met him in the wild and I learned that he had two kids like and then probably doesn't want any more and he's like way older than me and I'm like this is all good to know pre in like information like that you check it against your list you're like okay I want to get married I want to have kids I want to like start a family I want to like start a family have a household these things and it's not aligning from the jump so like why do we need to keep going on dates why do we need to keep hanging out because then it turns into like you're just wanting to sleep with me you know because I said what I wanted you know in response to that it's like okay we are not aligned And as Kay Camp says, it ain't nothing to cut them off. So you gotta like take the fish, toss it back out to the, to the pond, keep on fishing. The more you do that, the faster you get to that person that like is actually your person, you know? I'm gonna save lips for the last because I'm still trying to drink my coffee and stuff, but and then I'm gonna do my hair, but I love this mascara so much. It's like the drugstore equivalent of Better Than Sex by Too Faced, I think. Pretty sure it's Too Faced. Just really like if you have really curly lashes like me, it really helps like pull them out and spread like, it just, it's perfect. See? I love it. Yeah, that is the, that's the, that's the face. Um, I'm going to, I'm probably just gonna, I don't want to do my hair. I'm going to just touch up over the... I love this <laughs> blush so much. Okay. I'm going to do my hair, and then I'll be back in a sec, and then I'll talk through my lip combo really quick. Okay, so this is the final look. Um, on my lips, I did lip... Uh, Charlotte Til Tilbury lip cheat in Foxy Brown as a liner. And then I did the NARS Orgasm Afterglow Balm over it. And it just like melts together. But yeah, this is a look. I really, really like it. It makes me feel like I'm wearing higher end makeup, but not the price. So I like it. And then I just put on this like little cardigan some jewelry. I think I'm going to go to Prospect Park. I'm going to just see how how it is outside. The weather is so pretty today, so I think I might um, go and do that. I might also change into a different outfit because I feel like it's going to be cold outside for some reason. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I cannot wait to get back into all of my content and talking to you guys. Um, yeah, stay tuned for some more topics. I'm just gonna be chatting through a few things. I'm gonna be talking through my new like fall wardrobe staple pieces that I'm adding in to my wardrobe and um, it's gonna be good. So talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye.